Well, amen, hallelujah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. That is a positive note. I can because he lives. And uh, praise be to God for he does live. And I'm, we celebrated it last week, but we just does, we do not have to celebrate it one week a year. We can celebrate it every day because he lives. I can face tomorrow. So this morning, as we open up the Word of God, I want you to think about uh, surrender, what it really means to be surrendered and to sur surrender your life, and what does it mean to trust. Uh, there's a song that comes to my mind, Trust and Obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus is to trust and obey. So today I want you to think about what does it mean to surrender, what does it mean to trust and what does it mean to wait upon the Lord? So if you'll turn in your Bibles with me to Psalms chapter 25, we're going to read through 1 through 5 real quick. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let, my, let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Let us pray. Father, we praise you. We honor your name today. Lord, hallowed be thy name. Lord, we thank you for... Everything that we can do is because of you. Lord, I thank you for life. I thank you for breath. I thank you for everyone that is under the sound of my voice today. Lord, help us to dive into your word and just to see what you would have us to see. Lord, help it to be about you and only about you. Lord, it's nothing about us. It's everything about you. Lord, as we look at this prayer of David, as we look at the, 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 the writings that David wrote, Lord, please help us to see everything you would have us to see and apply it to our life, Lord. Help us not to leave it on the page, but in, uh, meditate on it and keep it in our hearts and keep it on our minds and help us to see everything you would have us to see. Lord, I lift up all the ones that are hurting today. Lord, just please help them to see you. Just give us the, the life that you would have us to uh, have and help us to spread the gospel. And give uh, honor and glory for your name and your name only. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So this morning I want to start off. I, I, you know my background. Uh, my mom, my two sisters, we sang many days. And I can hear my sisters and my mother sing this song. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul, oh my God, I trust in thee, let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. I hope you can sing that song today with joy. We should rejoice and be glad. Hey, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, you understand that God gives us every breath that we have? I know that's hard to fathom. I was thinking about that this morning. But every breath that I take, God is giving it to me. Hey, and he knows when we will take our, our last breath. So today as we walk through this psalm, let us uh, remember what it means to surrender and trust and wait on God. Matthew Henry states in his commentary, this psalm is full of devout affections to God. The outgoings of holy desire toward his favor and grace and the lively actions of faith in his promise. We may learn out of it what it is to pray, what we must pray for, the pardon of sin, direction in the way of duty, the favor of God, Deliverance out of our troubles, preservation, preservation from our enemies, and the salvation of the church of God. What we may plead in prayer or confidence in God, 
our distress and our malice of our enemies, our sincerity, what precious promises we have to encourage us in prayer, of guidance and instructions, the benefit of covenant, and the pleasure of communion with God. It is easy to apply the several passages of this psalm to ourselves and the singing of it, for we have often troubles and always sin to complain of at the throne of grace. So this morning, I, I really want you to think about what it really means to pray. And what does it really mean to surrender? David starts off, unto thee. O oh Lord, he puts the Lord first in his life and only the Lord. He's looking to no one else. He says, unto thee, O oh Lord. You know, David was called the man after God's own heart. And it, and it is said many times that after Psalm 51 was written, remember that uh, the numbers was not on the Psalms when it was originally wrote? But after Psalm 51, when he repented, when he turned from his wicked ways, when he asked God to forgive him, then I believe it is written that David was called the man after God's own heart. Hey, Charles Spurgeon says uh, we should never uh, get tired of repenting because we will never quit sinning. Think about that just for a minute. Never get tired. Never, never grow weary or, or no, never, uh, never get to a point where you're not repenting of your sin and calling on God for his favor and his grace and, and the way that he changes our life. Hey, it ain't about me. It ain't about you. It's about God changing our life and making us what he would have us to be. So unto thee, O Lord, make God first in your life. Make God only in your life and surrender to him only. What does it mean to pray? Uh, Matthew Henry says this, this text is talking about a prayer. What does it really mean to pray? Is it, God, I really want this today, or God, be with so-and-so, be with uh, my Aunt Bertha's bunion, be with this, be with that. Hey, that's not what prayer is. Prayer is a lining up with his will. It ain't nothing about our needs. It's about everything what he, he would have us to do. What did uh, the scriptures say that the Lord said on, um, in the garden of Gethsemane? Not my will, but thy will, Lord. Hey, that's, that's the prayer. That's our attitude of prayer. Not my will, but thy will be done, Lord. Unto thee, O Lord. This is David's prayer. Unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul? What does it really mean to surrender? Hey, we can sit here in the sanctuary. We can sit here in our, our houses and raise our hands and, and lift up our eyes to heaven. But what does all that have to do if we leave something hanging, if we're not fully surrendered, if we're not fully committed to God? Hey, there's, there's nothing... Uh, my dad said once, uh, if you're going to do something, do it right. Hey, we must surrender only to God. James 4, 7 says, uh, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Hey, submit, surrender, all in, nothing back, holding nothing back. Holding nothing back. Surrender. I was talking to Pastor earlier uh, before we went online and Isaiah says, woe is me, I'm unclean. Samuel said, here I am, Lord, use me. Uh, Paul, on the road to Damascus, says, what would you have me to do? So this morning, are you fully committed? Are you fully surrendered to God? When you wake up this morning, or you said, here I am, Lord, I'm surrendered. I want to surrender my life. I want to commit my life. I want to report to duty. Here I am. What would you have me to do today? Do I lift up my soul? You remember uh, a couple weeks back, I, I, I was talking about, I've been walking through the book of Daniel. And Daniel 1.8, he says, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, 
nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Daniel purposed in his heart not to defile himself. Hey, surrender your life today. Let nothing come in your life. Let, let nothing come into your mind that will cloud your vision to see God for who he is. Daniel 3, 17 and 18. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Hey, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, put in their heart, surrender to God only. Hey, throw me in the furnace. If I get burned up, I get burned up. But if not, I'm going to serve God no matter what. Matthew 22, 37. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Think about it today. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. You're totally depending. We should totally depend on God for everything. Nothing that we can do can, can add anything to our life, can add anything uh, our worrying, can, can add not a day to our life. So we should surrender to God and God only. David here was totally depending on God for everything. So what does that say about us? Hey, there's nothing that we can change by worrying about our situation. I know this coronavirus is bad, but the biggest picture here, what are we doing with the gospel? Hey, it's time. We have Facebook. We have social media. We have uh, at times at the grocery store that we're able to go into uh, the Lowe's and Home Improvement. I've been to Lowe's several times this week. Um, but what kind of opportunity are you taking with this? Are you surrendered so much to your, your God, our God, that we're telling people we're taking the gospel to them? Don't forget about that. Be solely dependent on God and let God uh, change your life and, and make you new and, and use you in the way that he would have you to be used. Verse 2, oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Oh my God. I hope you can say without a doubt that he is your God. He is your only God. Matthew 6, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added in, unto you. Seek ye first. Oh, my God. I trust in thee. There's a song that comes to my mind, and, and my background is uh, a lot of singing. So, The anchor holds. Though the ship is tattered, the anchor holds. You can trust in God. Because no matter what happens, no matter what happens, the anchor holds. It says in spite of the storm, I have fallen on my knees. I have faced the raging seas, the anchor holds. Oh, my God, I trust in thee. No matter what happens in your life. Hey, God doesn't tell us in the Bible that we will be prosperous. We're going to have a lot of money. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. He does not tell us in the Bible to uh, be prosperous. What does he tell us? He tells us in the Bible to be ye holy, for I am holy. Hey, we are to trust God. God will supply all of our needs. He's not going to tell us we're going to be rich, but we are rich in love because of his grace, because of his mercy. It's time we see, oh, my God, I trust in thee. Holding nothing back. Commit to him. Submit to him. Surrender to him. And trust in him. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Hey, you remember when you were a kid, I don't know if you could say this, but I, I can say this. Um, when I was a kid, there was a time in, in school when it was hard to be separate. It was hard to say, yeah, 
I believe in Jesus. I'm ashamed of that. Sometimes I was not bold about my God. I'm ashamed of that. It's, it's what he did for me, what, where he went for me, he went to Calvary for me, he died for me. I need to say, I'll shout it from the rooftop. Tell everybody around it that Jesus saved. Hey, he changed my life. Don't be ashamed of that. No matter what comes in your life, no matter who comes in your life, I don't care if he has money or, or wealth or, or fame, it doesn't matter. Be not ashamed of God and what he's done to you and what he's done through you and what he's doing to you. Let him work in and through you. Be not ashamed. Be confident in him because... They, Because why? Because you can trust in Him. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. He's never going to let you down. Be not ashamed. God. We can have confidence in that. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Hey, it doesn't matter. We see in Psalms 91, uh, 10,000 shall shall fall on my left and 10,000 on my right. But He's going to send an angel to uh, protect you lest you uh, douse your feet on the stone. Hey, God's got you. He is our refuge. He is our fortress. Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let us be confident, confident and wait on God. Hey, there's nothing that hurrying about things is going to change anything in life. We rush around, we're, we're, we get mad. I, I don't know about you, but I, me, I get mad when people are not moving from a, from a green light. When it turns green, I want you to go. Get out of my way. Ye let me none that wait on thee be ashamed. Wait on God. Let him move uh, for you. Let us with confidence wait on you. Let them that be ashamed with transgressions without cause. I had some trouble with this. I was trying to get through this and trying to think what this verse really meant here. It says, Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Hey, we, we don't have to be ashamed because God is God. He is faithful How do I know? Because the Bible tells me so. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. When you were a child, how did you know you did something wrong? Because your mom or dad popped your backside. Hey, when God changes your life, when God comes in your life and gives you salvation and changes your life, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Hey, people out within your life that you know are lost, they don't know they're lost until God tells them. They don't know they're a sinner until God tells them. Hey, we've, we've heard some people say that They didn't know it was wrong to live together until God changed their life and and made it new, made made them see what a sinner they were. God changed them. You didn't know when you were three-year-old that 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 stove was going to be hot. Hey, God changed my life. I know what's wrong. I know what's what's right and wrong now. I I can see what God wants me to see. It's not our place to point fingers at others. It's our place to preach the gospel and teach the gospel and show them the way that God wants them to live. Hey, God's the one that changes their life, not us. He changed my life. Praise God he's changed my life. Let him, uh, let his, his word be, be known. Preach the gospel. Love people to Jesus. Don't judge them. Because how do you know you're wrong? You have to be told you're wrong. Holy Spirit's the one draws us. Holy Spirit's the one that convicts us. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways. Hey, it ain't about me. It ain't about my way. I can get lost. I can do things in the world that's not right. I can do things that, that, that are wrong. 
Show me thy ways, O Lord. Not only show me your ways, but teach me. It's, it's one thing to tell someone how to go. It's another to walk down that road with them and show them exactly. Hey, that's what God tells us. Show me thy way. This is David. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Teach me what, I, what you want me to do. Show me your path and then teach me how to walk that. Teach me. Verse 7, it, it says, Remember not the sins of my youth. This is talking about uh, teaching. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercies. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Hey, it's time that we let the Lord teach us. It's time that we let the Lord show me thy path. And then let the Lord teach us and guide us. You remember Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Hey, there's nothing in life that's going to come into your life that God doesn't know about. Hey, has it ever occurred to you that nothing has ever occurred to God? Everything that's going on today in this world, God every, God knows already. He knew it before it even came to its existence. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy ways. Teach me thy I don't know about you, but I know me. I have to be told over and over and over again. Hey, it's time to let all that stuff go away and look to him and only him. We should surrender our life. We should trust him only, and we should wait on him. Verse 5, lead me in thy truth. Lead me in thy truth. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scriptures are given by inspirations of God and is possible, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All scriptures, from cover to cover, all scriptures is given by inspirations of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Hey, let the word, let the word of God get into your mind, get into your heart, that it may perfect you. Part of a sanctification, sanctification process. Let God change your life. Let God change your mind. Let God change your ways. Lead me in the truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. On thee do I wait all the days. And teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. Romans 5, 8. But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God changed my life. Jesus Christ changed my life. On thee do I wait all day long. How long will you wait on God? Don't be in such a hurry that you miss things that he has for you right in front of you. Slow down. Hey, even in this time of, of struggle that we've had, I hope you've taken time to slow down and really see what God has given you, how he has blessed you in your life. He's blessed you with your family. He's blessed you with your friends. He's blessed you with uh, your church family and, and everything else. Let us not be so busy that we miss what God has for us. Wait on the Lord. Isaiah 43, 40, 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hey, it's time. 
It is time to trust in God alone, to surrender our life, to trust in Him, and to wait on Him. I love, I love the scripture in James that says, uh, life is a vapor. We, we have nothing that God hadn't already given us. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I surrender my life to. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for making me new. Help me to surrender to you. Help me to trust in you. Help me to wait on you. Thank you for everything that you've given me. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. I want to close with something else. I, something come to my mind this morning as I was coming. When peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like seas billows roll whatever my lot thou hast told me to say Whatever life has, has thrown to you, say it, it is well, because God is the God of my salvation. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this message, Lord. Thank you for this word. Just please be with us. Please lead, strength, and guide us. Just give us the things that you would have us to have and help us to see you for everything that you are. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God. I trust in thee. Not, do not let me be ashamed. Not let my enemy triumph over me. Lord, I thank you for everything you've given us. I thank you for life. I thank you for friends. I thank you for family. I thank you for my salvation. I thank you for Jesus Christ and what he's done for my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.